Join us from Preston New Road. I want to speak quietly in honour of this amazing ceremony that's happening. There's about 50 people walking up Preston New Road now in a silent walk. Um, last week I went to a, an amazing place called Green and Away down near Malvern. And we did, uh, it was an eco psychology workshop. I have to go on the other side now because they've crossed. It was an eco psychology workshop. And I went there as an invited speaker to talk our stories from the front line. And I came with our stories, and the eco-psychologists were very moved. It's the eco-psychologist um, conference I went to last week and spoke on it. There's the eco-psychologist at a conference last week, and I went and spoke our stories to them. And uh, they wanted to come up and do a blessing and a ceremony uh, for the earth. It's called a Lama ceremony. Wow, yeah, and it involves us all creating a deer from wheat barley and doing a, it. It's an, a sacred it's American Lama Indian. Song. I think it's L-A-M-A, yeah. and I think it's a sacred American Indian. You know, they did songs from, you know, that stuff. I'm not very good at that. Okay. But they've done a lovely job. And we all sang and jarred it. It was beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah. Really lovely storytelling, too. Yeah, man. Just moving. Uh, so now, anyway, so, yes, it's hard to explain. And you really had to be there to be caught up in the amazing vibe of it. And we went into a room and um, in the tent was a really skinny structure of, like, twigs that appeared to have sort of four legs and a tail and a, and a head. Uh, but there was no, no body to it. And uh, the women told the stories uh, that would put us in the space to think about the earth and nature, our connection with it, our need to remain respectful and uh, honourable to the things that we get from the earth and to our relationship with it. And I've never really been sort of that sort of person. Um, but there is a thing about activism that introduces you to different ways of life different ways of being and different ways of viewing our ancestors and the way that life is and it's a real pleasure uh, to be able to learn from these people anyway the ceremony was very beautiful and they told amazing stories and then each of the approximately 50 people here uh, took pieces of barley wheat and we dressed it onto this stick figure and created a barley deer and there's this old story that we were told about how a deer was able to defeat a mighty fire-breathing dragon monster, which is somewhat what we face with Quadrilla. And this old story talked about how all the other mighty animals couldn't defeat it. But this sweet deer did, out of pure human compassion, a pure heartfelt compassion, turned the beast to stone. And there's a huge chunk of difficulty, I find, in this movement for me. <coughs> We're not so much our part of the movement, we are peaceful and non-violent. But there is often rage and anger and shouting and, oh, it's just so chaotic sometimes. And you really need stuff like this to calm and soothe. And that's exactly what this does. So we're now going up. Part of the ceremony we're told is to, you tell the stories, you dress the bee deer, create it from the wheat barley and then in silence all these people are walking with very little talking very silent we sang some songs and kind of got in the same vibration and now we're walking up the hill to the gates of Cordrilla and the reason we're going up to what we call the gates of hell is we're going to deliver the deer the aim is to deliver the deer as a gift to the land so we're going to deliver the deer as a gift to the land and we're doing that through the security guards and asking them to take the deer through and gift it to the land. Right. What happens at that point, I have no idea. Okay. We can tell how that one's going to work out, I think. So, that was me updating Kieran. Kieran Dunn also live streaming. There might be points at which I don't necessarily have my stream on, so do check Kieran Dunn as well. I think there's another one too I saw. 
I can't see his name. So genuinely moved that these women came up to us, you know. Um, we only went down last weekend, did the conference on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It was really brilliant to be part of in an amazing eco um, camp. And the, the reception we got for our stories from here was just beautiful. And uh, they couldn't, they were all so eager to help. So the fact that they traveled up here to you know, do their very best in their way is really moving. Glorious Bolton at the back. It's very surreal. You know, dusk is setting and it's a quiet and peaceful march. You know, there are days where we storm troop ourselves up here, raging and terrified and you know, aware that you know people are being hurt at the top. And then there are times like this where you walk gently, your soul all full up and your heart all happy because people really genuinely care. And you know, that's the other thing about activism. Even if you're not sure where you feel on all the subjects that activism could introduce you to, just be aware that there are so many things to learn and know and experience in activism that you won't get from any other single walk of life. You know, before I was an activist six years ago, my life was fairly broad. You know, I, I lived in all sorts of places and experienced all sorts of things, but nothing like what you get you know, when you just open your mind and your willingness to listen to all these other ways of being. Very lovely, isn't it? 50 plus people, like 50 to 60. Loving Kieran Dunn's new live streaming technique he's doing on a bicycle. Brilliant.
dear. Joining the stream, it's a silent walk, so I'm not saying anything too loud. Uh, we've just done an amazing ceremony with some ladies who came up from um, an eco psychology conference that I attended last week and have come up to do a ceremony. It's called a llama ceremony, I think. And we are about to gift the produce of that ceremony, which is a, a wheat barley deer, so a deer made of wheat barley, and we're going to gift it to the security guards, not to them, but to ask them to take it into the land and to gift it to the land for us. It appears the police are getting into position and wondering what's going on. Of course, they worry that everything's a lock-on. Uh, tomorrow's Sunday, you know. It's unlikely we're going to attempt anything on a night like this, so I'm hoping they'll allow the ceremony just to proceed as beautifully as it is. Those who hosted the ceremony have journeyed up from the southwest. Stayed with us for two days so they could understand what it was that they felt in their beliefs we needed. blessing. So those just joining a live stream, there's about 60 people. They come up to do an earth blessing. Directly across from me from there, you can see the wheat barley deer that was created by each person applying the wheat barley strands and tying them on and uh, in the end the sticks ended up forming a deer and the ladies are going to come across in a minute and they're going to ask them the police or the security will take this deer onto the land and gift it to the land because it received their blessings and the blessings of all the people who cared about this place so
I'm so glad you're all swaying with us. The words are, ready? Yaka Natasha, ya Natali, Yaka Natasha. Yaka Natasha, ya Natali. And then a lot of hoofs. Just us. I'm just going to go behind you to film. It's all right. Okay. So we draw your gift. It's the time of Lammas. When we give the land for all the harvest and all the good things we get. And the good things that you're hoping to harvest from. So we brought a gift for your land in there inside the fence where we can't go. And we wonder if you'd accept it and take it in front. Yep. Thank, Thank you. Very Thank you very much. Here, here. here she is. Here, here she is. Here she is. If you could place it on the land would be great. If you, if you place you, it on the land you, somewhere, mate. Just place it, place it anywhere on the land. Thank you. Thank you. That was worth doing. Stand by, mate. It's made of straw barley, you say. Not cameras, is it? No, straw barley and blessed, and each of us tied a barley strand on. Okay. And it was done as a blessing, and each person put a prayer into it. And the prayer that said uh, how much we care about the earth, and we hope you can too. Yeah, Thank always. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So blurry, I don't know why. So for those shorty who haven't got a clue what just happened, we um, did a blessing. We dressed some sticks that were shaped like the skeleton of a deer and we dressed it with barley wheat. And when we dressed it with barley wheat, we came in silence up the road after each entwining with each strand, our prayer and our wish for that to be a blessing for the earth. And we came and we asked the security guards after the police let us pass the line if they would allow us to have that placed on the earth. And they said yes, and they willingly obliged, which was really good of them. So now the wheat barley deer lays on the land in there and all our prayers that went with it. What happens to it at this point is not important. We, we managed to get our good wishes in there. And that was the purpose of the ceremony. And the purpose of the ceremony is now complete. And the good people are now walking approximately... 60 plus of them down back down to maple uh, to the community hub just to continue the celebration it's been a good month i'm going to sign off now and i'll check back for comments later <laughs>